Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a reading on Taeyong from the K-pop boy group BTS. And this will just be a quick little past, present, and future reading to kind of see, you know, what can we expect or, you know, from his energy. Okay, so let's get started. First will be the past and then the middle will be the present and then the card on the far right will be the present, um, I mean the future. Okay. So in the past, we got the Seven of Wands. Okay, let's pull the present. The present card, we got the Three of Cups, which is a good card. And then the future card, we got the Two of Wands. Okay, so with these three cards, we'll start with the past. In the past, for Taeyong, obviously BTS in the past had to work their way up to the success that they are at now. Like, I'm getting they really had a lot of challenges that they had to deal with. And I'm seeing Taeyong really had to deal with a lot. And funny how we got the seven of ones, which is like, you know, because seven BTS members. So I feel like this is something they all went through. But for the sake of it, this is Taeyong's reading. So we'll just stick with Taeyong. But with the seven of ones, it lets me know Taeyong had a lot of challenges that he had to fight off and really stand his ground. Like, I'm getting he had a more, he had to have a more aggressive nature when it came to his career in the past. Like, he really had to fight to be to where he was today. He had to deal with challenges. He had to deal with, like, people saying stuff. He had to defend himself and kind of prove a point and even go against, you know, like, People that was above him at the time in the past, like people that was more, much more famous than them, like big groups. Like I'm thinking in terms of big groups type of thing to to prove a point and to get to where he is today. Like you know, had to be like, hey y'all, like look over here, listen to me, like you know, give me a chance type of thing. It's like a, definitely a lot of competition. I'm getting heavy competition he had to deal with when it came to um his past um it was a lot of you know trying to prove that you are meant you are meant who you, you trying to prove that you are meant who you say you are type of thing i definitely feel like his energy is definitely different now in the present i definitely feel like he's like i can relax now i can actually enjoy my achievements like hey, nobody is gonna stop us having nobody came close to our success so i'm not really worrying about it and it's not even in a arrogant way it's really in a genuine way like i fought to be where i where i'm at today and i deserve to be here type of thing so i'm gonna celebrate my achievement and you know have parties you know if that's if he's the party type, I don't really see that. But anyway, you know, just celebrate your achievements with close friends, family, and you know, around people that loves you and really, you know, is proud of your achievements type of thing. That's the energy I'm kind of getting. Like I definitely feel like he has worked his way from the bottom to the top where he's at now, and he deserves to be there. And I feel like now he's like, you know, oh my god, like I can really enjoy my labor that i have worked for okay i want to pull one more card for the present okay we got the king of swords okay so this lets me know that he don't plan on letting his guard down even though he achieved a lot i still feel like he's like i still have to be strict and i still have to be very tough i still have to you know prove a point type of thing it's not over quite yet type of thing that's why I'm kind of getting with his energy. It's like he's still very strict. And he still hold himself to a high standard type of thing. So that's the energy I'm kind of getting with Young right now. Like, I don't feel like he plan on letting his guard down. Just because he's at the top, he's like, there's still work that needs to be done. And I still have a lot that I need to prove a point to. Like, it's not over yet. So I still feel like he's very serious about what he do. Even though he has achievements right now, he's still playing on, you know, doing more and then the future card we got future planning which is a good card it lets me know that he still is going to expand him and his group is still going to expand i still feel like he's going to be at the top and he's still going to be fulfilling his career and doing everything that he needs to do like i really get the vibe that he's definitely 
planning for his future carefully if carefully if that makes sense yes he's planning for his future carefully even though he has a lot right now he has definitely worked and deserved where he's at it's like the future he's like i'm still not gonna slack i'm still gonna be on my game i'm still going to give it my all even though i'm getting a lot right now i want more in the future and i definitely see him expanding into more territory and you know putting himself out there more type of thing i definitely feel like he definitely looks ahead in his future and kind of set out ideas and be like okay maybe i want to take this route maybe i want to include this and see can i get achievements and success i definitely see him expanding out so that could also mean trying new things like maybe you know other things that bts um you know can expand on to if that makes sense so taehyung i definitely see that taehyung's energy definitely has came a long way he definitely deserves to be to where he's at today. And I definitely feel like with the seven of ones energy, I love to see that in the past that he really strived to be to where he is today. And I feel like in the future, even though he's enjoying it in the present, I still feel like they have so much to accomplish. And I feel like Young is really going to accomplish so much more because I'm seeing he's like, I'm still not going to let myself stack. I'm going to be right on my game regardless. I hold myself to a high standard. I really feel like he really is somebody that don't play and he really does he really is hard on himself. Like, I feel like he's like, okay, I have to do this right. Like, it, like for example, like, if he messes up on something, I feel like he really does beat himself up about it. Even though it's like, you did great in our eyes. But it's kind of like, he really does take into account his actions and stuff. And he really do care how it looks. And I definitely feel like, even with the King of Swords, it could be an upper head too. That's kind of, you know, very strict on him. And it's kind of like, okay, look. I want you to be here. If you want all these achievements and to continue getting them, you need to be here. But I also feel like he feels that himself. So that's all I get for Young's reading. It was just a short little past, present, and future reading to kind of see what's going on with him. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You can always request it in the comment section down below. And tune into my next video. Bye.